I'm Clint, and we make an animated GIF of our work in progress digital paintings on this episode of Swatches. In this video, we're going to be making one of these. It's an animated GIF showing the creation process of the digital painting. And you can do this in Photoshop if you save your states along the way. Let's take a look how that's done. So this already has five layers. Each layer has a different stage of the creation process saved to it. Those were made with the history palette. So during the painting process, I will save a snapshot using the little camera down here on the palette. It'll put the snapshot right here. And then after it's finished, I will go back and I'll go to each snapshot and I will do command A to select the whole thing and then paste that into a new document. Now that document has flat versions of each stage of the creation process. That's the exact file we're working with. In order to do the animation, we want to go to window and timeline. It'll bring up this little box here. Now yours might look a little different if you haven't opened it before. There'll be a little button in the middle and you will need to say make frame animation. And you'll select that and it'll turn into looking like this. Now we will use this little drop down here and say make frames from layers. Voila, it looks at each layer over here and makes a new frame in the sequence. We now need to adjust all the animation properties. So if I hit the play button right now, yeah, that doesn't really work because it automatically sets the first frame for five seconds. Well, that's not going to work. We'll say 0.1 second. That sounds better. Now we'll play it. All right, for one, it's too short, and two, it's very choppy. We could fix both of those things. What we want to do is do a tween. That is a shortened version animation term for in between. It's the soft frames that lead from one image to the next. This is the tween button. I can hit the tween button and say, I want to tween it with the next frame. And I want to add five frames. You can change this depending on what your parameters should be. But it gives me this problem. It's creating a transparent version of that queen, but the image underneath it is turned off, so we're seeing the uh, checkered board. To fix that, I'm going to back up and say, I need to now go over here and turn on, on the layers palette, the visibility of the layer underneath it, so that when I tween again, we have full opacity. Now I'll go to each one of these and tween it with the next frame. Now if we were to watch it, it gets a lot closer. We can watch it a lot smoother. It's running through. We show the creation process, but it's still not quite right. One is it only goes through once. This is the loops down here. I'm going to say I want to loop forever. I want to continually loop. And two, I actually want this to restart and ease back to the beginning, not just an abrupt restart. So I'm going to select not the last one and not the first one, but everything in between. Say edit, copy those frames, go back to the last one, and paste it behind the last frame. It says paste after selection. Paste that. Now, of course, in the opposite sequence, I need to go backwards. So I will now say again, reverse frames. I'm also going to change the timing on those to no delay. I want to ease from the full painting frame to the beginning. The reverse versions are going to go faster than the painting versions. All right, good. Now I'm also going to get that last frame and I want to set it to one second so that the full painted version will hold on a bit longer. The first sketched version will hang on for half a second. Now let's play that. Now I'll move this out of the way goes through has animations it's smoother there you can see it goes back to the beginning at double the speed that the normal painting takes i like it now it's time to save the file you can't do just the normal save as what you need to do is go up to file save for web yours might look a little different it might open it up as this what you want to do is go up to this tab that says two up it shows you the original version, and then on this side, it will show you your new version. This could look different depending whether you have JPEG selected. What you want is, of course, GIF. And to get a good visual quality, let's set this to perception. Set this dither to noise. Set colors to 256 and save the file. Now, I'll call this 
Elf Druid Jeff. Obviously, it says Jeff on the end already, but there we go. For whatever reason, you can't actually open an animated GIF in Photoshop and it recognize the animation. It will only load one frame, that first frame. In order to check it, you can use your browser. Just drag your image into your browser. Your browser recognizes animated GIFs. So you can make sure that you have the timing and size and everything correct. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's just a little fun thing that you can do with your paintings. And if you save your snapshots, a little extra thing you can do with those. If you want more in-depth educational videos, then become a patron. Also, if you want to engage in our monthly art challenges, you can become a patron. That is at patreon.com slash swatches. And by doing that, you're supporting this channel and allowing me to make more videos, which I really, really appreciate. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you'd enjoyed it. And until I see you next time, keep drawing.